good morning welcome to yet another glorious day the day that the lord has made let us exceedingly be glad in it is a wonderful day and the day are the works of our mighty god the ever-present god in time of need the Holy One of Israel, the true God, the great ocean divider, the Ayan that I am, the God that was, the God that is, is, and the God that will still come, the God that is ancient, the God that is present, the God that is also the future. This morning, by the grace of God, I am here to share a daily exhortation with you. My name is Joshua Osatoame, and I'm here to share this morning exhortation with you. Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for your great work. How you disappoint the enemy during the night. This morning we are strong, healed and head. Glory be to God. Even as we, your children, hear your word, bless our hearts, bless our soul. Make us to know wisdom. Make us to know your way. Lead us in the path that will bring about change in our life. Let us go closer to you and serve you. And give us victory on everything we partake on today. On every good work that we involve ourselves in today. Bless us, transform us, and make us just like you. In Jesus' perfect name, we pray. Amen. This morning, by the grace of God, we'll be looking at an effective topic, renew, not just religious. Ephesians 4, 23 to 24, that's our test. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind and put on the new nature, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. We read from the reverse standard version. We Christians are not to be confirmed to the world spiritually. We are not to be confirmed to the world's definition of what it means to be religious. But we are to make sure that we have met God's requirements for discipleship. No nation was ever more religious than Israel in Isaiah day. The temple was feed. The altar ran red with the blood of sacrifice. The religious festival they strictly observed and the voice of prayer was heard in the house of God. But there was a lack of depth and true devotion in Israel's worship. The nation was deteriorating morally. Even though record crowd were attending the temple, speaking as God commanded, as I have said, Bring no more vain oblation. Incest is an abomination unto me. And the new moon and Sabbath, the calling of assembly, I cannot endure. It is iniquity, even the solemn meeting. Isaiah 1 verse 13. Then Isaiah told them how to regain the favor of God. Those people who are members of the church, those people who have been read according to the formalities of their religious law 
But during the week, we are not living a righteous life. Isaiah, one of the judgment of God. Then he told them how they could be cleansed from their sin. He said, wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doing from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Come now, let us reason together. Said the Lord, through your sin be, though your sin be as sacred, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like creation, they shall be as wool. As I am one, 16 and 18. There are thousands of people who do not give themselves to Jesus because they have conformed to the world. They have prayed of being called fanatics, pious, pyrotechnical or religion. A true Christian is a non-conformist. He does not confine himself to the worldly concept of religion. Instead, he is to become a true disciple, a follower of the Lord. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, cleanse me from all impurity and unholiness. Wash me in the blood of Christ so that my sins are removed and I as am white as snow in your eyes. Make me a true disciple in words and in deed. Give me the mind of Christ so that my eyes may stay fixed on you. In his name I pray. Amen. May the Lord bless this world in our hearts in Jesus' name. I remind my humble self, Joshua Satoane. Don't forget to join me to listen and also read tomorrow exhortation. Till then, stay blessed and stay safe in Christ Jesus. Amen.